All right, welcome to Friday Healing Meditation. Today is October 22nd, 2021. Okay, let us ground first. Inhaling slowly from the earth core all the way up to your heart. One steady, slow in breath. Hold your breath on top. And exhale. Feeling the air of the fall, the autumn, the beautiful season. Couple more inhale from the earth core all the way up to your heart. Inhale. Fill up your lung and heart. Expand a little bit more and then hold your breath on top. And exhale. Inhale. Hold your breath on top. And exhale. Let it go, the old unwanted energy. Let it go. Anything is nothing is as significant. And I feel the energy leaving from your tip of the fingers and toes, the back of your knee, the back of your spine. You may shake your fingers and jiggle your toes to alleviate release this process, sometimes we tend to hold things, the energy, the stuff, that no longer serve as well. So, let it go. So you could invite flesh, energizing and empowering positive energy into our life and our being. Now let's inhale from higher heaven all the way into your third eye. Inhale from higher heaven through your crown into your third eye, the center of your brain. One long inhale, hold your breath on top. Bless your focus within the third eye. And exhale gently. Continue to rest your awareness within the third eye. Inhale from the higher heaven through your crown into the third eye. And hold your breath. Gently exhale. And again, inhale from higher heaven into the third eye. Feel the stardust, beautiful light coming into your third eye. Cleansing and healing the mental field and crown and the third eye. Exhale gently and let it go. Your eyes and third eye hold a lot of trauma and the energy of anxiety and worry because your eyes see the things first everything and your third eye your intuition will show you the probable futures 
including the one won't happen. And some of the things, it could be less desirable, it could be horrifying, it could be sad, because not all the things are joyful. But the most of those, perhaps negative, perceived as a negative thing, won't happen. So use the energy, the higher frequency, the healing energy to wash those things away. So less stress and less trauma stored within your being, your chakra. So keep your awareness in the third eye. We're gonna inhale the healing energy from the earth and higher heaven, same time into your intuitive center, the third eye. Ready? Inhale, the two point breath from heaven and earth simultaneously. Meet at the third eye center. And exhale. Cleansing breath, heating energy. Twice more, inhale from heaven and earth into the third eye. Hold your breath on top. This will charge the energy and exhale gently. If you know the 360 in and out breath, you may use it here. Or you could use a lotus breath. Try to inhale, exhale with a six point breath. Simply imagining the lotus flower and inhale and exhale through the petals. Ready? Inhale from heaven and earth into the third eye. Hold your breath into the third eye, the center of the lotus. Now exhale out through the lotus petals. You may visualize a tiny you in the center of the lotus flower. From here, you may travel through the space and time. And find yourself in the surrounding, the campfire. You may see yourself first and no one else this circular room in the center, there the campfire. The first is a little tiny one, the typical campfire under the Milky Way sky. You see the beautiful red, the orange in the center. Here, some firewoods, a burning, the flickle of the fire sparks. And you may soon find that the fire is getting larger and perhaps the color shift, the different kind of color. The very first color, the Cutter the shift, the likely the cutter that you belong this moment. So pay attention to the color of the campfire. As soon as the, the fire, the color of the campfire shift, you start to see more and more people 
surrounding this fire. Some of the people you know very well, and some, some are being who come to welcome this campfire, to receive the healing, to receive the opportunity, receive the positivity, seek a different and better future. You may be really in and out from your heart center while you're keeping yourself in a lotus flower. This is your sacred space. Although you see others, the energy of yours will warm, mingle, or mixed with others. So relax and enjoy yourself in the front of this beautiful, calming and relaxing the fire. If you open your heart to the point you're comfortable, the same thing, your intuitive center, the third eye, you'll be able to perceive and feel the message, the feeling, the energy of this flame. Pay attention to the signal, the message. Through your skin, you'll be able to receive what this campfire is telling you. You may be surprised. You may have a request to you specifically, something they want you to do or seek your help. So take a moment to receive the message. It could be the message from the deceased one or the message from the elemental kingdom or from the mother earth. Or there's something you forgot and you are supposed to complete the things you wish to do, but you put it off. There are so many things in your mind. You tend to forget a priority, a very important things. But the fire reminds you because it can connect directly to your soul. The soul, your soul, directly connect to your spirit. Now it is your turn to ask this flame, your fire.
Go back to your soul level. Go down deep into your heart. Ask a very important question to this fire. Is it a healing request? Or it is a question you always had? What is some kind of message you want to send to the person or being who no longer here? And look around in this campfire. There are so many beings gather around. A lot of people here have a very similar wish. It is a good time to have a very clear, vivid, Reality, a future, or the moment of a now that you wish to have, you wish to experience. Perhaps with all of us together. What kind of now, what kind of reality you wish to experience? a daily basis, now and a future. What kind of a world you want to live in? What kind of a people you wish to spend time with? And how do you love a person, a being, or a thing? If it is all thing will be accepted, what kind of person you wish to be? Tell that to the fire and visualize as clear as you can. Remember, there's so many beings and people are right behind you to support your intent, your will, your desire. So scream out loud. And put the emotion behind it. Use all five senses and beyond to feel the reality, the desire, as if you're living it in it right now. Let your every single cell in the DNA sing together with a symphony of the beautiful reality you're creating at this moment with Mother Earth and your tribe. Imagine the world with no disease, no illness, no discomfort, no suffering, no pain. Imagine the world filled with joy, brotherhood, sisterhood, no hierarchy, 
no need to compete for resource or for anything. The world filled with love and joy, a harmony. You could add and modify however you wish. The focus, intent, you pour the energy, the conscious energy into at this moment. As well, the emotion, the energy of this incredible power. Once you put those two together, you'll be able to manifest almost anything instantaneously. You are the master of this reality. So come back to your little you on the lotus flower, looking at this beautiful campfire. And then also you here now, observing it. Soon you'll be able to simultaneously exist in multiple places. There's a you doing an incredible work in front of the fireplace, manifesting incredible time of now and in future. And are you here now, the meditating together with your tribe. And there's a you doing a 3D work. And a healing work continue. Now we're gonna bring all of you here in and now once again. Ready? Inhale into your third eye now. Hold your breath. Bring the you and a tiny you and a lotus flower back into the third eye and exhale gently. Feel your third eye, it's densified with the light, the beautiful heating current. And an inhale from the mother earth all the way up to your heart, the core of your heart. One long, beautiful inhale. And exhale out saying, Feel your heart chakra becoming a little larger than before. You'll be able to hold the bigger love, the deeper love, the omni love. And let us inhale from heaven and earth same time into our heart. Hold your breath and exhale. Feel your body and your mind go far larger as your consciousness expand. Your auric field also expands. 
Now you can take far larger task at ease and grace. You'll be able to feel. And you'll be able to handle the things far easier than before. It is no problem, Hakuna Matata. Go with the flow. You may bring your hands over your chest, your heart chakra, but feel your heartbeat. This is your direct connection to your source. We enjoy the beat of the heart. And enjoy the tiny you on a lotus flower. You could always go back to the campfire. Now inhale into the third eye and exhale out to the physical eyes. Open your eyes slowly and shake your hand and legs, bring your consciousness and presence all the way back here and now. Collect your experience and write that down to the journal. Thank you for being here with us today and thank you for healing yourself. This is the end of the Friday healing meditation. Thank you for attending.